Hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking the time to come over here and visit with me over on Rochester Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And guys, I wanted to shoot a little brief video today with uh, with my brand new White Rogers Emerson Climate Technologies uh, Blue Easy Reader Thermostat I have here. And I actually wanted to show you how I configured it into a non-programmable dual fuel application. So guys, if you'll just bear with me, I'll get right back to you and we'll get started. Thank you so hey, much for watching. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, back Basically what we've done guys is we got our brand new Emerson Climate Technologies Blue Easy Reader Thermostat out of the box here that Dallas was so kind enough to send us and, and thank you so much Dallas I appreciate it so much brother and uh, basically guys I'm, I was going to maybe walk you through the steps of configuring this thing real quick well as quick as I possibly can and uh, basically guys I've already configured this and I was just going to walk you through the steps that, that, that I took to configure it. And uh, basically the configuration on this is going to be for a non-programmable dual fuel application. And uh, basically guys, if you want to see me actually program it and uh, uh, do that type of configuration, I'll be glad to do it for you. Just let me know, but that's going to be in a completely different video. So uh, I appreciate it so much. Just let me know and uh, I'll be glad to do it for you. Okay guys, before we get started, what I wanted to show you real quick guys, is this is actually a battery operated thermostat and there's there's a lot of battery operated thermostats on the market and what I actually love about battery operated thermostats is I am able to actually configure the thermostat uh, at my own leisure or on the go and for instance at my own leisure let's say I knew I had a big install coming up the next day and I know I was going to be super busy I could actually take the thermostat out and uh, actually configure it if I knew the applications what I was installing for instance if it was straight AC and heat or you know what I'm saying to whatever application I had and I could actually already have the thing configured and basically that, all that's going to entitle me to do is actually put my sub base on the wall wire the thing up slap the puppy on there and hit heat or cool man we're ready to, we're off to the races guys um, another thing on here this thing has what they call a power stealing assist on it and if you look here real close I'm hoping y'all can see this we have some power stealing switches here little dip switches and as you can see on mine I'm hoping you can see I have them on the off position the reason I have mine on the off position guys is I'm actually running a common wire to it um, basically guys I'm not going to go all scientific on you I'm sure somebody's got a better explanation for this but uh, basically these power uh, stealing switches are for instance let's say you are in the cooling mode this is to save your batteries. If you are in the cooling mode, it's actually going to rob power from your heating relay and vice versa. If you're in the heating mode, it's going to rob uh, power from your, uh, from your cooling relay. And basically that's it in a nutshell. But uh, there's some other uh, things that we can actually talk about this. As some of y'all remember some of the old carriers and reams, uh, y'all know, know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, all right, guys, let me, uh, let me get set up here and we're going to get started. All right, just bear with me. All right, me. guys, Thanks let's so uh, get to configuring our brand new White Rogers Emerson Climate Technology Blue Easy Reader Thermostat. And I love this thermostat, guys. It's so easy to configure and a piece of cake to hardwire, and I'll actually show you that too. Um, basically, guys, what we've got here is I've already configured this, and I just want to walk you step by step through it, and uh, hopefully I can get through it pretty quick. But yeah, if you know me, you know how my videos are. But uh, basically, guys, this has already been uh, configured for a dual fuel non programming application. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys. We'll merely hit the uh, the menu button here. And now we are at the configuration menu. Number one, this control can be configured for MS2, multi-stage systems, no heat pump, HP1, heat pump with one stage of compressor, gas, or electric backup. HP2, heat pump with two stage compressor or two compressor system, gas or electric backup. SS1, single stage system. All right guys, as you can see here, we chose HP1, heat pump with one stage of compressor, gas or electric backup. Okay guys, let's go ahead and move on to number two. And basically you're seeing gas right there. Number two, gas or electric fan operation. If the heating system requires the thermostat to energize the fan, select ELE. Select gas if the heating system energizes the fan on a call for heat. Okay, guys. All right, let's move along. We've selected gas. And, guys, it's easy to change. All you do is toggle up if you want it ELE, electric, and just hit it again. It brings you back to gas. All right, guys, by, by, by hitting the menu key, it locks that in, and it takes us to the next one. All right, guys, as you see here, we see MECR, heat AC. All right, guys, what it's done here is it's skipped a step. 
And basically, it, uh, we skipped number three, energy management recovery. This step is skipped if configured to be non-programmable. Okay, guys, so, uh, it launched us up to number five and number six. Cycle rate. Heat pump, HP1. The default setting is medium ME. Okay, that's what we got. For auxiliary, the default setting is fast cycle, FA. All right, guys, we have that set. All right, let's move along. And this is actually taking us to number seven. Select compressor lockout. CL off or on. Selecting CL on will cause the thermostat to wait five minutes between cooling cycles. This is intended to help protect the compressor from short cycling. Well, guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you know uh, Dallas actually sent me that uh, Emerson Sure switch that we installed out there, and I think she'll, uh, I think she'll take care of me. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave that off. All right, guys, let's move along. This takes us to number nine. Well, actually, I'm sorry. It takes us to number eight. System mode configuration. The thermostat is configured for heat and cool. System switch with heat AC off is the default. So we're actually going to leave the default on. All right, guys, this is actually taking us to number nine. And I think number nine, I jumped the gun a little bit, but I think number nine is uh, very, very crucial. This is compressor optimization. CO provides a delay in circulatory fan operation after the compressor turns on or off. With CO selected on, when the compressor turns on for a call for heat in heat pump or a call for cool, the fan will be delayed for five seconds before turning on to allow the air to be heated or cooled. After the compressor turns off, for call for cool, the fan will continue to run for 20 seconds to circulate all of the cooled air. If CO is set to off, there will be no delay in fan operation. Guys, I'm going to leave this on. I don't want my heat pump in the heat mode actually firing up my fan down there and I'm getting a cold rush of air. You know, I'd like it to heat up just a little bit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue by hitting the menu button here. And this actually takes us to select backlight display number 10. The display backlight improves display contrast in a low lighting conditions. When the C terminal is powered, selecting backlight DL on will keep the light on continuously. All right, guys, we're going to be running a, a common wire, and I'm actually going to leave this thing on because I, I really do like the blue light on there. And uh, um, But uh, let's see here. Select backlight off will turn the light on momentarily after any button is pressed. When the C terminal is not powered, the light will be on momentarily after any button is pressed, no matter whether the backlight is selected on or off. So we're going to have that, that common wire on there, and we're going to keep the blue light on. So uh, uh, we'll show you that here in just a minute. All right, guys, here we go. Let's select again. And this actually takes, takes us to uh, number 11, select temperature display. Adjust four low to four high. Allows you to adjust the room temperature display up to four degrees higher or lower. Your thermostat was actually calibrated at the factory, but you have the option to change the display temperature to match your previous thermostat. The current or adjusted room temperature will be displayed. I'm setting mine to zero, guys. If it's 79 in here, I want to know it's 79 in here. All right, guys, let's continue on by hitting the menu button. And this actually, guys, is taking us to the Fahrenheit or Celsius readout. And basically, you know, if, you're, if you want Celsius, you just toggle up. If you want Fahrenheit, you get it. All right, guys, by merely hitting the, uh, the menu button, we selected the Fahrenheit. It's going to lock it in, and we're going to move along to number 13. And number 13 is program options. So we really don't have a lot if we're non-programming application here. And basically what it states is the default setting is zero, indicating non-programming. All right, guys, let's go ahead and toggle again by simply hitting the menu. All right, guys, this takes us down to 15 and 16. Select fast second stage on or off. Heat pump or multi-stage only in the run mode with the fast heat feature enabled on FA, which is what we have right here. If the heat set point temperature is manually raised by three degrees Fahrenheit or more above the actual temperature using your up, up, up toggle here, um, the second stage will energize immediately. With FA off, second stage will not energize until the set point temperature is one degree Fahrenheit or more above actual temperature for more than 10 minutes. The fast cool feature, FA cool, provides the same control when the set point temperature is lowered. 
All right, guys, we're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, select daylight savings time. Of course, we're going to select that. Let's go ahead and hit menu, lock it in. All right, now we have limited heat range. I like these features here. Uh, this feature provides a maximum set point temperature for heat. The default setting is 99 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be changed between 62 degrees Fahrenheit and 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, I set mine to 80. Um, y'all can play around with what y'all want, but I figured that was a pretty good temperature and I think anything over 80, man, you might, you might be wanting to head to the doctor or something. But uh, anyway, just, just, just playing around. But uh, okay guys, let's lock in the 80, hit menu. A lot of this stuff I might play around with, you know, as, as, uh, you know, as I start utilizing the thermostat here. Uh, okay guys, and we actually have a, uh, a limited cool range. This feature provides a minimum set point temperature for cool. The default setting is 45 degrees. It can be changed between 46 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit by pressing the up or down arrow keys. And basically guys, I set mine to 45 for the simple fact that, that it's just me and mom here. And if I'm wanting to go out there and work on my unit, I can actually, you know, I, I won't be worried about it, the thing cycling off or whatever. And, uh, but anyway, guys, this would probably be great if you had kids and stuff. And uh, basically you could probably, you know, just set it to 72 and they wouldn't be able to uh, bring it down any lower than that. But uh, I think these are pretty cool features on here. All right, guys, let's move along here. Let's move on to 20. And basically, guys, what you see here is uh, DF, dual fuel. And you see the number five. Select dual fuel setting, DF. HP1 systems, zero is default, off for electric auxiliary. If your system has a fossil fuel, gas or oil, and we're running gas, auxiliary heat select one to nine. See dual fuel settings and compressor delay on the following page. And guys, I'll actually show you that. I've actually got this on a PDF on my, on my Nexus here. I'll show you that in just one second. Okay, guys, let's uh, move along here. Compress, select compressor delay. All right, guys, uh, select compressor delay. Available only if DF uh, dual fuel one to nine is selected, and we selected number five. After the auxiliary heat is turned on, the compressor shutdown is delayed for the time selected in seconds. The delay is factory set at 60, but can be changed in the range of zero to 99. I'm just gonna leave it factory set for now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, guys, this is it. Selecting reversing valve output. The O or B option is factory set at O position. This will accommodate the changeover relay to be energized in the cooling mode. If the thermostat you are replacing or the heat pump being installed with the thermostat requires a B terminal to energize the changeover relay in heat, the O, B option should be changed and set to B. And that's easy as cake right there. There's your B, there's your O. So guys, basically that's it. Um, I think we're good to go. Let me hit, hit the menu button again and it should take us back to our home screen. And yes, there we are, guys. Okay, guys, let me read this off to you real quick, what we were actually talking about. And uh, the one through nine selection. And uh, guys, basically this states, uh, dual fuel settings, configuration menu, item 20. Heat pumps with gas or oil furnaces. Auxiliary heat are called dual fuel systems. Step 20 is a configuration menu is dual fuel, DF. Option that uses software logic to determine when to switch gas heat and shut down the compressor. This eliminates the need for a separate fossil fuel kit. To configure the thermostat for dual fuel, select a setting from one to nine. We chose five, which was an uh, initial selection and a recommended selection. And I might uh, mess around with that a little bit as well too. A higher number will provide a smaller stage of separation so the auxiliary heat will start sooner, providing more comfort. A lower number, number will provide a larger stage separation, delaying the start of the auxiliary heat, providing more economy. A selection of zero cancels the dual fuel option and is used for heat pump systems with electric heat auxiliary, non-dual fuel systems. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I uh, reckon we'll get back with you real soon. And uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching.